the simulation at Berkeley Labs National Research Scientific Computing Center, NERSC, found the axion's mass to be more than twice as big as theorists and experimenters have thought. Between 40 and 180 microelectron volts, micro EV, or EV, or about 110 billionth the mass of the electron. There are indications, Safdie said, that the mass is close to 65 eV. Since physicists began looking for the axion 40 years ago, estimates of the mass have ranged widely, from a few eV to 500 eV. We provide over a thousandfold improvement in the dynamic range of our axion simulations relative to prior work and clear up a 40-year-old question regarding the axion mass and axion cosmology, Safdie said. The chamber would have to be smaller than a few centimeters on a side to detect the higher frequency wave from a higher mass axion, Safdie said and that volume would be too small to capture enough axions for the signal to rise above the noise. Our work provides the most precise estimate to date of the axion mass and points to a specific range of masses that is not currently being explored in the laboratory, he said. I really do think it makes sense to focus experimental efforts on 40 to 180, EV axion masses, but there's a lot of work gearing up to go after that mass range. One newer type of experiment, a plasma haloscope, which looks for axion excitations in a metamaterial, a solid-state plasma, should be. Ben's latest result is very exciting. If the post-inflation scenario is right, after four decades, discovery of the axion could be greatly accelerated. If axions really exist, That doesn't mean dark matter can't be studied and even weighed. Astronomers know quite precisely how much dark matter exists in the Milky Way galaxy and even in the entire universe. 85% of all matter in the cosmos. To date, dark matter searches have focused on massive compact objects in the halo of our galaxy, called massive compact halo objects, or machos, weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, and even unseen black holes. None turned up a likely candidate. Dark matter is most of the matter in the universe, and we have no idea what it is. One of the most outstanding questions in all of science is, what is dark matter? Safdie said. We suspect it is a new particle we don't know about, and the axion could be that particle. It could be created in abundance in the Big Bang and be floating out there explaining observations that have been made in astrophysics. Though not strictly a wimp, the axion also interacts weakly with normal matter. In the 1980s, the axion began to be seen also as a candidate for dark matter, and the first attempts to detect axions were launched. Using the equations of the well-vetted theory of fundamental particle interactions, the so-called standard model, in addition to the theory of the Big Bang, the standard cosmological model, it is possible to calculate the axion's precise mass, but the equations are so difficult that to date we have. Since the mass is known so imprecisely, searches employing microwave cavities, essentially elaborate radio receivers, must tune through millions of frequency channels to try to find the one corresponding to the axion mass. But as they worked on improved simulations, they approached a team from Berkeley Lab that had developed a specialized code for a better simulation technique called adaptive mesh refinement. During simulations, a small part of the expanding universe is represented by a three-dimensional grid over which the equations are solved. You can think of these strings as composed of axions hugging the vortices while these strings whip around forming loops, connecting, undergoing a lot of violent dynamical processes during the expansion of our universe, and the axions hugging the sides of these strings are trying to hold on for the
but when something too violent happens, they just get thrown off and whip away from these strings. We solve for the axion mass both in a more clever way and also by throwing just as much computing power as we could possibly find onto this problem, Safdie said. We could never simulate our entire universe because it's too big. But we don't need to stimulate our entire universe. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.